Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to give you an overview of Android 7.0 Nougat on OnePlus 3. I've just installed it though it's in beta build but I'm using it as my daily driver and it's working pretty perfect. So this is the launcher that we get on Oxygen OS 4.0. If we slide it across, we get some recent apps, contacts, and some information about the data usage remaining, available storage, and battery. And on top of that, it's very smooth and fast. So let's go to the settings first. Let's find this Android build. Let's show you what it came with. If we go to phone, it's saying Android 7.0, OnePlus 3, Oxygen OS version 4.0, RAM 6GB. In the previous uh, Marshmallow Bells, the RAM was displaying on the previous menu. But now it's showing here internal storage 64GB, Android version is 7.0, and the security patch level is from 1st of December 2016. But I believe there is a next one available from 5th of December. Google promptly updated it. So if we have a look, let's go. There's the Android N, the Nougat build running in on OnePlus 3. And the new settings menu is there that you can slide it across from there like any other Android app. So you can jump into different settings at any time. Some of the good things here that they have done with this new update, there are new notification design. If you slide it across, then you get a tiny bit of the quick settings and any other apps showing the notification. So you can do some of the basic changes in here. If you want more settings or buttons, you can just simply slide it. Brightness control slider, which you can set to automatic or manual, depending on how you like. There's a night mode, so if you enable this, the display color becomes a bit um, easy on your eyes at night time. Doesn't give you eye strain. Here you can edit those settings what you want to have. There are plenty different options available that you can have in there as well. So for example, if we wanted to have those, we can always move it back, add it up in there. So for example, if we want to have the location is there, lug like buttons, I can I don't want to have it, so let's take it out. Till we have more things like reboot nearby from Google Play services different apps even have their services in there in order for you to have it so this is a cool things let's go back to that and if we go back to settings that we find um, here well basically I've been using it so I have all my apps already installed the storage and memory section brings up together the RAM and the apps that you have installed in there together. Previously it used to be separate some gestures available. For example, if you want to take a screenshot, you just need to do three finger swipe and it just takes a screenshot. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is just enable it from the settings. Now here are the buttons settings on the new Android 7.0 Nogot for OnePlus 3. And you can swap the buttons which I always do because it I felt more easier for me to use this button right here to make it a back key and the other button right here at the bottom to make it the recent app button. So that way it folds, I mean it goes with my usage easily. You can have on-screen navigation bar right over here if you want to have it. If you don't want to use the harder buttons or the soft touch buttons in there. Still, um, there is another option. You can always enable the home button, which is the fingerprint scanner just in here. So the fingerprint scanner button will always be on if you turn on that button after you enable that one. Then you have some power button twice for camera. It's like mostly going with any AOSP and other ROMs. Every ROM is coming up with that. Every single um, <coughs> manufacturer for quick uh, launch of the camera. Long press action, you can have different search as assistant or there are plenty other options you can have, recent open close menu, turn off screen, 
voice search, open camera, last use app. So this is up to you what you want to have. Then there are recent buttons. There for the same button you can have multiple options. So you can customize this. Gestures, that is the thing I was talking about earlier with. But on the gestures you have double tap to awake, open camera if you draw a circle on the screen, V to turn on or off the flashlight, then you have music control which I turned it off at the moment. Then you have flip to mute, so if you are in an important meeting or in another call or in an environment where you have to keep your phone silent, you can just simply flip the phone to make it mute. And at the end, very end, you can see three finger screenshot. So enable this and you can take the screenshots like I did. Then you have the status bar customization option. You can have different options in here the status icon, how you want to have the battery bar or circle or battery hidden you if you want to keep it hidden you have the option battery percentage, auto rotate screen, headset, work profile, cast I mean numerous amount of options in there then with the display you have plenty other options as well to get adaptive brightness uh, you can change the settings of how long the screen will be on or after how many seconds or minutes of inactivity the screen will go off so I'm gonna set up for two wake up the screen when you receive notifications I would like to turn it on because this is quite nice uh, feature proximity awake uh, wake device when waving your hand over display so this is another cool feature let me try it on if it works on it while the screen is off if you hover your hand it should turn up the display. So let me do it again. It works pretty well. Well, some of the earlier different phones in earlier days, you needed them to put them on flat first. So let's make the screen off. So now I'm going to ho hover down my hand without touching. And as you can see, the screen is on, showing you all your notifications or anything on your screen. That's the lock screen, basically. You have the pulse notification light, you can change it to the LED notification, customize it for different apps. I'm not gonna go that far, let's go back to settings again. So you can see everything has changed, uh, the color, it's now dark. This is uh, quite cool. In terms of apps or menu or any other drawer like that, camera is right there. I don't have basically anything to give it to focus. Let's give it a Raspberry Pi and let's see what it does along with a tiger. So this is the back camera and you get the settings right in there, not settings, sorry. The options to have timeless video, slow motion, photo, video, manual or panorama. You get the settings options in there. So you can have save location, shutter sound, you can turn it on and off, save raw images if you would like to have raw images. And the front camera is just right here. It's pretty good. Um, 8 megapixel. You can get the settings can select if you want to go for 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 ratio by clicking on it. So similar for the back camera you can have the settings just in here select what cropping mode you want to have. You get three different options one by one then you get 4 by 3 and 16 by 9 so you can see the difference in terms of giving you there you can have that grids disabled or enabled and the timer in there you can have high quality or non high quality HDR auto so the camera app is pretty improved and you will notice some pretty good things in the future when it comes to the stable version I hope you enjoyed the Android 7.0 no good overview on OnePlus 3 video see you on our next video don't forget to subscribe and share